Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to Frank for Moto Show 2019 and this is Audi stand and this car is all new 2020 Audi RS7 so here this particular car is finished in tango red metallic and as you can see it has all new design of the LED matrix headlight system the car has various carbon parts as you can see here and this will be for review exterior interior and infotainment system so guys if you like this video then give this video a like subscribe to my youtube channel and comment down below what do you think about this car so here we can see the spec sheet of the particular car and this is the most powerful a7 called the rs7 sportback and we can see the price and also the leasing price etc so this car has 22 inch alloy wheels we can see the new design the alloy wheels and the tire size is 285 30 22 inch and these are the Pirelli tires also this car has a carbon ceramic brakes which have a really large brake rotors you can see the carbon theme everywhere on the side skirts and the grille is in honeycomb style and this car has a really large front splitter so here we can see the rear wheels so these are the Pirelli P0 tires and the size of these tires is 285 30 22 inch so the same size in the front and in the back some cars have a larger tires in the rear to improve the stability but Audi decided that this is the best setup for them and yes I wanted to show you the ceramic name so these are the optional brakes ceramic brakes now we can take a look at the rear part which is a sport back so this is like a coupe and estate in one it's called the sport back so the rear spoiler rises at 120 km per hour or 75 miles per hour and these are the largest exhaust pipe ever fitted to the Audi and also the US models will be louder than EU models because of the EU noise restrictions so we can see here the carbon on the rear diffuser part and you can have it also in silver as a basic and in carbon this is optional you can see that this car has a v8 4.0 liter engine 600 horsepower and 100 newton meters of torque eight speed automatic gearbox and 262 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds top speed is 250 kilometers per hour or optional you have two options so based uh, how much you paid then you have a larger top speed and this car obviously is all-wheel drive the quattro system which has a differential and the rear axle so now we can take a look at the interior so we can see that this car has an Audi exclusive interior and also the optional Bank and Olufsen audio hi-fi system so here is a look at the interior so this car has like a bucket seat but they feel uh, really comfortable they're not like uh, super hardcore seats so here is the new steering wheel and we can see the Bank and Olufsen speaker you have also the finish with leather and combined with the Alcantara you can close the door you have a red stitching, contrast stitching these are the buttons for the windows and mirrors so really nice quality materials and you have also seat control at the, at the side of the seat so not at the door like we can see in other manufacturers but here it's on the side of the seat so we can see also the aluminium pedals at the foot rest and also the brake and the gas pedal and there is also like a lever to open the bonnet 
So here is the latest MMI display system, which includes a lot of new technology. So here you can see this car has a settings of the lights at this left side. And this is the new style of the steering wheel with RS logo in the lower part. It combines the Alcantara red stitching leather in the middle. Here is a large MMI display. So we can take a look at it, at this. So here you can see navigation, radio, it's uh, touch operated. And yeah, it's really cool system. So here you can set up your phone, music and other stuff. Right now it's in German language as all cars at the IAA Frankfurt Motor Show. You have also the climate control is also operated with the display. So you need to be aware of that if you are purchasing the car. So yeah, here is a lever for the gearbox. It's in Alcantara at the top. And you have a parking button on the lever and then you can put it in the parking, neutral drive and reverse. Here you have some cup holders and 12 volt socket underneath this carbon like a decor. So here you have a virtual cockpit by Audi with Audi logo and this has a different layout because it's a RS model. So for me this was the first time at the latest Audi so I had to figure it out how to control it. So these pedals are really nice shifters and yeah everything is very nice uh, build quality as you know from Audi. These are the hazard lights in the middle. So the armrest is really wide. You have a wireless charging here and also some USB ports. And we can see the Quattro all-wheel drive system. Name on the in front of the passenger, you have some CD maybe for the maps and glove compartment has some storage. These are the bucket seats for the RS models. They have also the honeycomb stitching the same as in the front grille and the padding is quite nice soft so they don't have a huge amount of the support but they are more on the comfortable side but you can still feel that these are the sporty seats the sun visor buttons on the top so these are pretty standard things if you want to turn on the light you need to press the light so I was surprised by that that's quite a nice feature and you have also the handle here some manufacturers don't have a handle for the driver anymore and the seat belt has a red color on the outside of the seat belt we have a frameless doors as well I want to show you also here we have a speaker in the corner Vegard Olufsen head-up display as well now we can check out the rear seats. So the door looks similar as a front seat doors. You have some net behind the seat. And the rear seats are also nicely shaped, similar to the front, but not as aggressive as the front seat. Bang & Olufsen speaker, hi-fi system. And you have some door pocket for uh, water or something like that. We have also the vent at the B pillar. And on the top we have a speaker and a handle with a hanger. And here is a look at the front from the rear. So really cool design. Really like this design. And you can see these sporty seats with integrated headrest. So here are lights, you don't press the light, but you press the button which is next to the light. So these seats are really nicely shaped, the same honeycomb stitching. And you have a seat belt. The middle seat belt doesn't have this red 
on the outside only the seat belts which are on each side red honeycomb stitching and now the seat is in front because one guy was filming it but uh, yeah you don't have this much space I will show you in a second you have a little bit less space but you have enough space I'm 186 centimeters or 6 feet and between 1 and 2 inch you have some display presumably for the AC in the middle tunnel and this seat is uh, curved for your knees if you need that so if I sit in the seat I have maybe 1 inch space left so not much space but I'm not hitting the ceiling so I think it's fine for my height so this much size you have like at maybe 10 centimeters around that side so you have enough space in the rear I would say you have more leg room than the headroom that's mainly because this car has a sloping roof uh, being the sport back so here the middle armrest has like a hidden cup holders so it has pretty cool feature as you can see if you press they will open and yeah everything is nicely sturdy and quality materials so Audi is known for the interiors seats are nice and soft you have also the isofix for the child seats and yeah really nice uh, premium interior so now we can take a look at the boot space so the boot has a capacity of 535 liters so there's not the largest but also not the smallest so here this cover is fixed the half of the cover is fixed to the door so that's pretty cool but being the sport bag is like a lift bag in other uh, in other brands but basically we can open the boot with the window together so it's like a fifth door like in the SUV basically so you have a larger loading space and yeah underneath there is no spare tire so pretty large you can fit some family thing there but you have more space in the RS6 definitely it's a really cool car this RS7 so yeah guys that's it for this video if you liked it then please like the video comment down below what you think about the new Audi RS7 and what you like about it and subscribe for plenty more videos so guys thanks for watching and I will see you soon in the next video have a wonderful day